Come on, buddy. Let's go. Here. Let's go. Well, it is the 12th day of the season. We are taking on Euro this morning. And really, let's go. What we took on was pretty seriously unimproved road right here. <laughs> so uh, we added a little bit of mileage to our trip. We got a bunch of hikers coming up behind us. Um, we're sitting Rio this morning <coughs> just to give her a day off, extra day, because we've got some pretty rough stuff coming. Um, so it's just uh, Steve and I. Charlie Libby and uh, Tall Mountain coming up. And apparently a big hiking group with a bunch of goofy dogs that uh, are going to try and uh, become bird dogs at some point. We got one of them coming up behind us right now. A big IKEA looking thing. We got a little later start this morning. Uh, intentionally so. Last night temperature got down well below freezing. Yeah. And frost on the pumpkin and the ice. <laughs> it was uh, really cold at camp. And also we wanted to be able to see the conditions on the mountain and this road, which we haven't been on before. Um, I'm glad we did. Yeah. The road coming in here, if you happen to, Huron's got essentially one tr one trail going up, but everybody's got to use this trail. And um, Steve and I hedge on the <coughs> side of caution when it comes to putting your vehicle at risk, because the best way to ruin a trip is to break a vehicle back in here and be in a place where a tow truck may or may not come get you. Probably not. And then you're gonna have to find somebody with a tractor. And uh, <laughs> I don't know who that is around here. Uh, so we kind of hedge our bets on that. You definitely um, are gonna want four wheel drive if you come up this road. There are people who have driven further than us up this road. Uh, congrats to them. We just don't wanna, too early in the trip to be breaking something in half. Um, so, should be a good day. Uh, really beautiful country up here. And right now we're just trying to gap these folks behind us on the flat. Um, and hopefully get out here so that we have a little distance uh, between us and the next groups. Try and get some bluegrass down here low. It's cold enough that my fingertips are numb. So uh, definitely going to be a brisk day. Um, unfortunately we added about a mile and a half to our hiking trip by uh, not going the full way to the top, but definitely worth it. Two. Still in the trees. Been at it for about an hour. It's taking a nice even pace. Uh, really beautiful day, but uh, we're in the shade on this side. And as you can see, uh, hard to beat the view. Dogs are working good. And luckily, there was a fork in the trailhead and that group it was a big group probably 10 15 people uh, up behind us right. went the other direction so we're going to go to the bluegrass country 
frequencies up here, Boaz. You know, we're just doing a lot of switch packing in this section of the trail, so uh, I expect a lot of that. We've got a lot of gain uh, coming over a short distance, uh, more than 3,000 to go. Uh, so we'll see what we can do. It's about uh, quarter after 12. So. so a big part of this, a big part of this is knowing your dog's body language. We're close to a grouse in here. Um, and so we're watching the dogs. I'm holding the trail down and Charlie's tracking uphill right over here. So she must have lost it. She's coming back down right through there. Still acts real birdie. Steve's on with her. So just broke above tree line. Dog's super birdie right here in this section. So there have been birds here this morning. We're looking in the trees to see if they've jumped up there. Seems like they've kind of went this direction, so uh, we're trying to hone in on them. Charlie's track doing a good job of tracking. All right, let's go. I'll find them. Get him, Ida. It was hard weather last night. You can probably see there was a dusting of snow on the peaks. So those birds would have been looking for shelter. These quakies down in here. Offer that up. Maybe we can get in on some of them. Good boys for a little break here. I go ahead and pull the shells from the shotgun and take my vest off for a little while. Highest water right here. Looks like we walked a little over two miles so far. And uh, we'll be able to refill bottles here and get the dogs good and hydrated. Get a little litter at the end. You notice, I don't know if you can tell or not, but that water has got a thin layer of ice over it. So, so if you're hiking, Water at elevation, you won't have to carry all your water. It's much colder than this, it would just be frozen like a brick. So, <clears throat> we'll take a little break, get a little energy in, um, and uh, head, head uphill. Well, 
track my heart rate. We got pretty substantial uh, switchbacks here and good set of climbs. A little more elevated than I was the other day. Um, maybe because it's colder out. So I'm just kind of watching, climbing, taking lots of breaks. Uh, just trying not to get too winded and. Uh, Get up here to this next little flat spot. Maybe I'll do a little bit of energy on take. A few other hikers up here today. Haven't seen any birds yet, but uh, maybe we'll get lucky. About a thousand vertical left. so far. It's about 12.30. Got good sun. I think that temperature's pretty cool, but at least the snow that was on the trail earlier has melted or is melting. <clears throat> um, if you want to do this hike up here on, the good part is they have Nice switchbacks got in, so it's not overly aggressive coming up this face, which makes the hike kind of nice. Gives you the ability to control your respiration, and uh, yeah, it's good. Good hike for everyone. Got a little ways to go. Kind of see what we're up against here. I've been bumping into a few people now and then, and as you can see, whenever that happens on a trail, what we end up doing is opening the shotgun, slinging it over our shoulders, unloading it, and uh, want to be respectful of mixed use and uh, let people know that we're uh, not a threat to them at all uh, and that we don't intend to shoot around them. Uh, so this is the least kind of aggressive, I guess, in some people's mind way to see this shotgun and uh, this is partly about outreach. I mean, we want people to understand mixed use. We want them to embrace what we're doing as much as we embrace what they're doing. So that's kind of how we go about it. Um, we have every right to be out here hunting on public lands. Forest, and they have every right to be out here hiking as well, and uh, we all can get along <laughs> for sure. Steve is slowly making his way up, and uh, this is only his second elevation hike, so I think it's uh, getting a little rough on him, but uh, I think he's gonna make it. The day seems to be holding together. Uh, you can see that there are some slight clouds building out there. But um, I think it's going to hold together for us, which would be really great. So uh, here we go. Just 
tuck them in here for a little break behind a rock wall. Yeah. Hopefully find some snacks. I'm excited for snacks. Let's get the last little push coming up. You got to the top. I'll tell you what this altitude does is um, it messes with you. Uh, you can talk yourself out of things pretty easily <coughs> because <coughs> your body, <coughs> excuse me, your body's trying to convince your brain uh, and vice versa that who knows best. Um, but up here, you start feeling bad. It's, it's one of three things. Either you don't have enough energy on board you don't have enough water on board or you don't have oxygen on board. I've been feeling pretty good, but that's probably 500 vertical feet over, well, a third of a mile. So we're gonna put some, <coughs> we're gonna put some energy water and oxygen into the tank man it's beautiful up here and out of the wind it's warm this is a good hike uh, it's doable the drive in terrible <laughs> <laughs> to get to the trailhead. Uh, gnarly. Probably worth it to stay back from the really rough section. <coughs> <coughs> Pressure differences are messing with my sinuses, so keeping me coughing. One more. Not quite to the top. I'm here on the probably not even the book book this trip. Hooks up there. Good. Good to Charlie. Probably mad at me for not. Keep going, Charles. Just mad that we have one of our back legs. And I'm tapped. down here in a little bit and see if we can't get some blue grouse and uh, head back to camp. Thanks for joining us. Walking around the mountain all the time. Awesome. YouTube live and uh, we'll see you back down at the bottom. Maybe we'll have some blue grouse to show you. Got what we like to call cliffy up here. So you certainly got to be careful. You got to be real careful with the dogs. I think Steve and the short hairs have tapped out and uh, we're headed up. If you look out around the corner, whew, we've got another hundred or so vertical. 
Um, so we're just going to kind of take it easy and get there. Oh, what a beautiful place. Come here, Ice. Come here. Let me see you. Come here. Come here. Let me check the pads. Do a little rough neck. Look good. Look good. people to find what bird hunting is to us or for us. Just what it comes down to. back, Ida. How was it? Pretty high up, huh? I back up. Wonder. No, Charlie. There are. Yeah, Pika or Pika. They look like Pikachu, so I'm going Pika. Um, running all over up here. Dogs are a little bored, so we're trying to keep them on path. Uh, Steve made 13.5 and change, and uh, that's his new personal best. Um, it's two o'clock, a little after two, so we're gonna try and get a little, oh no. Um, we're gonna try and get our horse on and get down this hill. Get back down into blue grouse country. Surprised we didn't hit any uh, ptarmigan up here, but man, spectacular hike. Uh, really spectacular. So, uh, did you see that jet go down? Did you see, I saw that one up here too. Did you see that one just now? There was a jet. I don't know exactly what it was. Maybe a military trainer. It looked like it was ripping down between these peaks. It was below us by about 2,000 feet. Unbelievable. Um, we're going to get back down this hill. Hopefully, get back into blue grouse country and. Uh, Get something for dinner.
have made it down in a couple hours. Oh, wipe down so much easier. It seems like it takes longer, actually, but it's a little easier. Starting late today kind of worked out for us. And I think there's a benefit to that. So you don't feel nearly as worn down when you come on. So we just got a short walk back to the cars and then a long, slow crawl out of here with the vehicles. But uh, it was another great hunt today. You need to get invested in wild places. Explore your public lands if you have not started. Now is the time. If you're not a bird hunter, Upland Birds are the ultimate underdog. To learn more about them, you should follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or even subscribe to YouTube. If you are a bird hunter, stop chasing limits. Start pushing your own. That's about all I got today. So let's go get some carbs. Carbs. When you're in Colorado, you gotta drink cool.